Today we are going to be trying out for the first time the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel. And my friend Lucia kindly gifted me this sample to try out. And she told me do not be fooled by the name because you do get shrinkage with this gel. So let's see how it performs. First I'm cleansing my hair with the keratin shampoo and I will also be using the keratin conditioner. After dyeing my hair I'm trying to incorporate protein into my routine more just to help repair my hair and get it back to being its usual self. I'm massaging that in to my scalp, working it in and using the shampoo brush a little bit to really get in there and then I'm rinsing thoroughly. Like I said I'm going in with the keratin conditioner, working that through my mids to ends, really massaging that in and working it in well and then I am detangling starting from the ends and working my way up. I'm then giving that a little squish into my hair and then rinsing thoroughly. For leave-in today, I'm using the Curls Blueberry Bliss leave-in. I'm just taking a little bit of that in my hands, emulsifying it and working that through all of my hair and brushing that through just a little bit to make sure that I have even distribution throughout my hair. I am then brush styling like I usually do, working in sections and brushing out and kind of up a little bit and then when I get to the top of my head I am brushing directly up to the heavens. <laughs> I'm then giving that just a little bit of a scrunch and then I am starting to apply the gel. The gel is kind of on the thicker side and it feels a little bit sticky and tacky. It almost reminds me a little bit of the Giovanni gel or the Cantu gel. So I I just took about three little blobs of that in my hands, rubbed my hands together, glazed gently over my hair and then scrunched that in on one side, the other side and then upside down. I then scrunched my hair with a towel and put my hair up in a towel for about 30 minutes. I then took my towel down and applied just a little bit more gel to my damp hair before going in and diffusing until 100% dry. I am a tiny bit concerned because I do feel like my hair kind of looks a little bit more stringy compared to when it usually does. Hopefully my hair will kind of fix itself once I'm diffusing so fingers crossed it looks okay when it is dry. As I started diffusing I realized that my hair was drying really weird. It barely had any definition to it and it almost felt like I had nothing in my hair. So I think I went in a bit too light handed with the product. So I diffused for four minutes, well nine actually. And then I added a bit of a more generous amount to my kind of almost dry hair. It was drying very quickly. <laughs> and I think that fixed it. We do have a little bit of a cast now and I have more definition and even though it does say elongating gel, we do have a little bit of shrinkage. So I'm going to scrunch this out now and fluff this out and we will see what we're left with. And here are the finished results. I think my hair looks amazing today. I feel like I have nice definition. I kind of have a little bit of volume going on here. That might drop in a few minutes. I know what my hair's like, but at the moment it looks really nice. And I mean, it does look shiny, frizz free. I think this gel feels lightweight, which is good. Of course, for me, the biggest test when it comes to a gel though is always how well it will last. So I will check back in tomorrow or the following days to, to check back in on how my hair's doing. At first, I really wasn't sure about this gel. I didn't really like it very much when I started diffusing, but for the moment I've changed my mind. I I think I like it. Let's see how well my waves last this week. Here is my end of day two hair and honestly I am pleasantly surprised with this gel. Now I know that compared to the clip that you just saw of me yesterday my hair has dropped quite a lot but actually when I stopped filming my waves fell out very very quickly and kind of looked like this very very quickly so I was expecting today to be a disaster but apart from the initial waves falling out they have 
haven't dropped much more than this honestly so that's why I'm pleasantly surprised um it would have been nice if they did last a bit longer but I think at this point I've done quite a few videos now where my definition just drops quite a lot and I think the length of my hair has a lot to do with it now <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> so I think my final verdict is that I do like this gel. It's not my favorite favorite, but I do really like it. And I'd be interested how this pairs with some of my favorite gels that give more hold, like the Trey Lux gel or the Pretty Curly Girl gel or an affordable option, the Cantu gel. I would be interested to see how this works with those products. So I think this gel is a great option. It's kind of on the affordable side side it's not like super affordable but then it's not gonna break the bank either so yeah let me know what you think of this gel and if you've tried it what were your thoughts if you would like to know how I dyed my hair to what we've got going on right now then make sure to check out this video and I will see you next time bye